Hey, hey there, Leo. This is Joy with Joy of the World here to take an intuitive peek into the energies going on around you. Friends and subscribers, welcome back. And if you're new to this channel, click that subscribe button down below. It is free as always. And if you'd like to be notified anytime I post new videos, ring that little bell beside it and they will let you know. Also, if you like the content we provide here at Joy of the World, give us that big thumbs up, like, and share. Share because you care. Share with your peeps, your friends, your family, your whoever, you whatever, you whenever. It's going to help lighten some of that burden that you're carrying around. I'm feeling stress of a yoke around you of like some responsibility of some connectivity of some indecision of some questioning and some wondering and so you tuning in here is not the only one it helps but getting others to tune in here as well does also be sure to leave your comments down below after you view the video and let me know what's going on on your side of the camera i will sit over there with you as well and take a peek back because i don't dish it and not take it right with the whole zodiac here these are timeless reads energy sessions to help you level up and move through. They provide the affirmation, the confirmation, the resonance that you need with what you're already journeying with in your life to give you a thumbs up. Yes. To give you the support, to give you the hallmark, the whatever it is that you've already been mulling around and moving on to help yourself synergize and come forward in your best, bold, bright, beautiful self, right? Bring your impossible dreams here. That's what we're saying, friend. Now this week, big daddy said a big papa big papa be cruising around this channel look at him tom master that is right the divine master the divine creator and he's wanting to come along and offer his support with you his to be the co-creator right to be the divine unction the golden honey flowing of the nectar of the mind coming in the radiance of the sun where you have it in your heart he has it in his mind he wants to share he's flaring up his wings his serenity his divinity to come alongside with you he had that stickla and tough like everybody else says but he's been my papa for a minute i'm a capricorn son so how do i know ask me how i know he's wanting to open your channel of truth he's talking very much right here like like that little sparkle that little shine right there wanting to open up because even just one speck one spot of opening affords you a whole new illumination i hadn't heard that said before now he said he's not coming to speak he's coming to infer now, I don't know. He let out a little moan in Kansas. If you want to hear Big Papa moan, you can go check that out. What is happening here? They're already splitting. What do you want me to do? To witness the beloved. To witness the beloved. You're saying keep them. Okay. So we're going to keep them, and then I'm going to shuffle for a minute, see if there's anything else that you're wanting to say. You were very clear that you wanted to speak through this oracle, and that is where he is coming from. And I have not uh, used this often or in recent time. Maybe one day I'll tell you the story about uh, getting attacked by a dog and knowing exactly the day before it happened. You talk about the curse. What curse? Why are you cursed in love? Why are you cursed in love? There's like this whole gap going on. The hunter, the council, and completion. Well, you're looking for advice on how to close this out. For some of you, it was going two directions. That's okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. When I shuffle and clean, I'm just cleaning other decks up, putting them away from previous ones, and I shuffle and shuffle and get them ready. That way, when I come here and I turn this on, I don't have to do all that flapping noise. Take up your time and take up your ears, right? And some of you were talking about how do you walk away from this relationship that you're wanting to get away from. And for others of you, it was how do you, how do you, do I see you moving in together? Do I see you going to live together with someone again? That's what you were asking. And it was strange because the way I said, do you see me going to live with someone sometime soon? It's not like you were even inferring that you had a relationship yet. And I was like, all right. Because you talk about maybe you're trying to say, well, I feel that full passionate love where we can share a bed all the time. Where I can where I can fully open myself, open my heart, because that's you, it's that divine connection. You you love to taste love. You love to taste the human body. You love that full on connection. That's just part of it. So let's see what we got going on here. Do we need these? No, not anymore now that we've spoken. Okay. All right. Thanks for bringing that forward. I don't always know what you want to hear or what I just carry in the channel of the energy to you guys. Is there anything else you're saying? Definitely not. Okay. So over here, there's one. Can you see it? It's they, they kind of walk themselves out. That usually happens a lot more when I'm at the uh, tall counter than sitting down here on my magic school bus. 
taking y'all on a ride here and you're talking about, look at you, angel of strength. Angel of strength. What the strength and the courage, but what I really see is I have that cheerful disposition to put the smile on your face. And then this is not that fake smile. See, look, something has suppressed your smile. Something has suppressed your gleam, your glow. You're not, you're not feeling happy. You haven't been feeling happy in a minute. What do you want to tell us? It's like you see something off in the distance. This is like your lower realms and this is your upper realms. This is how you're really feeling. And that's what they're talking about, putting a real smile on your face. But this is 50. This is about, okay, the fulfillment of the promise. All right. Now I can see why you've been feeling cursed. 14, you've been feeling cursed for a mighty long time, I can tell you, friend. It's like there's been a veil over your sun. And you're saying over your moon, which is interesting because you're showing me the sun. So apparently your sun and your moon aligned a long time ago and you haven't been practicing projection on other people. Matter of fact, she's telling me you've been guarding against it, Leo. How magnificent. That's a, that's a power unlike any other to have this difficulty going on, but not to project or blame or uh, transfer false energy, or um, to try and take advantage of anyone else. That has been put down and set aside. But you feel like you also lost yourself in the midst of this. You feel like you lost your placement and who you are and the understanding of the clarity, like knowing your proclivities, knowing I like this, I don't like that. Because it's not judging anybody else. It's no big deal. You become a product of what you've witnessed. You've had to witness life through this veil and it made it very difficult to see because could you imagine driving at night with sunglasses on? This isn't driving in the day with sunglasses on. This is driving at night with the sunglasses on. It's that type of a challenge. Or like people, I live at the beach, okay? And you see people outside trying to be on their phones in the sunlight. We have white sand here where I live. It is literally white sand. It's uh, quartz. And so here it is reflecting and gleaming up and they're trying to see the screen. It's like that. It's, it, it, it has been such a challenge to be able to see clearly. And you're, you're talking about it goes beyond perceiving because perceiving is often accompanying projection, not that perception is wrong, right? Perception is a secondary sight. It comes to confirm and affirm what we're already seeing, what we're already knowing. Now she's glowing up. We're beginning to see part of the story, part of the picture. There's a little bit more. Let's find out more about this beloved. She's definitely, so she's come to stand in the gap. This is her. This is you, okay? Man or woman, it doesn't matter. This is you, the person right here, okay? So this is very much actual here on earth, but it's impacting the heart, the emotions, the feelings, the understandings, the processing, the center of the mind, not the thinking mind, the center of the mind, the processing system. So she's coming in to stand in the place and she's going to discuss these two cards up above and wants to get us to tap in. Can you see the energy going on here? Can you see the red? And do you see the gold? Okay. Wanting to step into that for you. All right. I don't know who's swooning right now. Your head be spinning a little bit. You get into Miss Sam. Let's see what's going on. So as I reach for that, you wanting to go for these? Oh, I switched them around. That's crazy. Gotcha. You make sense now. So we're going to use uh, my Tarot of the Spirit. If you haven't ever seen these before, I've had them. About 25 years. That's a chunk. That's a chunk. We're going to put it all back in. Mm -mm. We don't need the book. We need a summary. We need a summary. You're, you're, there's too much holding on your hard drive. There's too much holding there. And it's like, because it's a book, it's an image. And as we know, images take up way more space. And this is on like the hard drive of your heart. This is bad. It's suppressing you and weighing you down. Like the thing that I was seeing, so they want me to back up and talk about that. So what you were experiencing, um, what you were experiencing in my body, what my body was experiencing of yours is that you've been carrying this yoke I don't know if you've seen this, this wooden yoke that they used to carry with buckets at the end to be able to transport water, but you've been carrying and bearing the yoke with no product, no benefit whatsoever. There's no water in there. There's no whatever else. It's wandering around with this yoke, wandering around with this yoke. And you're like, now I can look, now I can talk, but you want to get a tea card. Man, this Papa Saturn starts digging around, big Papa, and y'all are like, Joy, get it, get it, find out what it is. What is it that you are talking about here, too? 
Victory in some endeavor, but the broom. New home and new attitude. Ah, you were talking about, are you going to move in? Are you going to move in? That's more than just moving in with somebody. That's a new home. Like being able to see yourself envisioning a whole new life. Because like in my case, my car got kind of like trashed by the hurricane. And it used to seat multiple people. My kids are grown, right? So I don't need something that seats that much because friends of friends of friends aren't going to be piling all up in there anymore. So it's being able to shift. You're having a shift going along. New home, new attitude, but also a new attitude and embracing of yourself. It's something quaint, something um, distinctive. What is the iris? The iris is showing up here. So we have like, we're talking about February, March, April. April. So victory is some new endeavor. So for those of you who are looking on to dreaming of that even, allow yourself to dream it. Allow that curse to come off of you. That, so that has to do with some poverty. That has to do with some blockage on your family line even. I'm seeing it right now. I'm seeing it right now. And here's the power coming in. We have the nine of fire and the nine of earth. Talk about powering up. This is you getting traction in your prosperity. You getting tra uh, traction, not just attraction, traction. That goes beyond attraction and drawing it in. That's when plants make roots, okay? That's when houses have foundations poured. That's when this aligns and all comes together. This is like the zenith of your heart gleaming up, glowing up here. It is your ble blessed, it is your blessed place, your heart. Your breastplate. Something more she's wanting to know. What is the scroll of the fountain? Y'all give me a second. There's a scroll of the fountain. What is the scroll of the fountain? Okay. The scroll of the fountain. Let's see. What is the scroll of the fountain that we'll call her the angel of strength, we'll call her Jubilee, that she's wanting to speak of here? I see you. I see you. That's not the scroll of the fountain. Hang on. Here. It's the scroll of the fountain. It's the scroll of the fountain. You've been strong. You bore a lot. The reward is needing to come in to bring the balance and the justice for you to know that you are loved. You need to know that you are loved. You need to know that you are loved, that you're held, your heart is held in the hand of the creation of the divine, of Saturn. Saturn is working on your side and Saturn does have to do with homes money, provisions, security, savings, establishment, um, things proceeding and moving through in a time-wise manner. And you're like, why do I need to know? Why do you need to know? So you two are having a banter here. That's a bit of the struggle of the curse showing up and still lingering on is you're wanting to, even though you're moving forward, you're still carrying the question behind you. And that, that leaks out your energy and that diminishes and undermines the foundation. That's part of what he's here to do is poke his finger around and find the one little crumb, the one little nugget where you're doing it. You still have an air of question back behind you. Is this possible? Is this possible? But that's very much indicating new beginnings here, friend. New beginnings. Serendipity. It's at the heart of the matter. It's coming into the centrality of, of it all. The, what all you've bore and what all you've gone through had a purpose, it had a rhyme, it had a reason, and you may not ever know, but you will begin to experience the restoration. You will experience the, the love and the jubilation that comes forward. I mean, like, who appreciates water more? Someone who's always had it anytime they thirst or the one who was parched and dry. You ever been so parched and dry? Like, yes, I am old enough when we used to drink from garden hoses, okay? We'd be so parched and dry whatever, when we could finally get to a water fountain, a garden hose. They weren't bottles, people. We just shoved it all up in our mouth. And you start to take a drink. I remember it would taste like candy. It would have the sweetest taste, and it would be so smooth and silky. It was refreshing to a whole different level. Refreshing to a whole different level. There was rhyme and reason. You may not ever know the purpose because part of it is like, you don't necessarily have to. They want you to move forward in love, move forward in trust, move forward in your new story, in this new beginning, in this whole new genesis going on here, in this prosperity, because it had to do with something with your family line. It had to do with something extending well beyond you. That do you really want, he said, do you really want to take all that time and energy to go through that? Because that's just going to start it all over again. The need to know why. It's some obstinance and it's part of the problem. Okay, 
I don't know who was obstinate in your family line, but it, it dammed up the river. It blocked stuff up. It muddied it up. It crammed it full. It chalked it full. It made it uncomfortable, okay? So we're just clearing that on out right now. That's what Nine of Fire is here to do. See that vortex of energy? It's pulling it all out, back down to where it all came from, putting it away in the mountain, locking it away for safekeeping. Not that it's negative, bad, or wrong. It's just something that, that lures you in. It's like a siren song that calls you back in. It's a mindset. It's a, it's a repetitive memory is what they're talking about now that's stepping into her, the witness. She's wanting to talk about that repetitive memory. Okay, so you're going over here. The zenith, the lighting up of your heart. Trust. Okay, okay, Leo, divine eye, that fire, that it's like very much like a combination, like a lock, like returning, the witness. So 64, the perfect 10. Some of you are talking about distorted and ugly. So some of this may have worn on you may have worn you out, you know, just like favorite shoes when they're worn out and you eventually can see how bad they look. You're like, God, I got to move that on. But you're looking at yourself and you're like, God, I got to move on. And you're like, how do I? <laughs> Where is the new me store, Joy? You're talking about new beginnings. Where's the new me? Where's the new me? I need eyes to see. Where's the new me? I love that y'all are being so raw and real. Okay. Where's the new you? Where's the new Leo? Let's look in here. I love these. Antique anatomy. That's you, baby. Two of rods. Mm. That one is about partnership. I love how each deck, they have different leanings and clarities on what tradition says. Because, baby, we ain't locking you up in no tradition. That's what you've been locked up in here. Free, free, free. We clear that on out. So let's know about this new, new you. There's an eye of God. You knowing yourself. Know thyself. And more completely and holistically. Ooh, ostrich. Talk about a land cruiser, land speeder, fast, fast moving into awakening the, the mind's eye of your tree of life, of seeing yourself with this new vision, this new clarity of no longer seeing with caterpillar mindset is transforming into a whole new world of seeing with butterfly eyes, seeing with butterfly eyes. And that's very much what's coming in here. The eight of blades, these are like butter knives where you can sit there and think, oh man, something's wearing me up. No, baby, tossing you like salad, getting it prepared for dinner. You ready to eat. You hungry. It's going to be tasty, delicious, refreshing, and divine, pure and simple. No harm. No harm. I mean, lion's teeth. You're like, I ain't scared. No, that scares me. Butter knives. Butter makes it better, baby. What is all this noise? Did something get lost? Hang on as I dip down here. No. Okay. Okay. I don't know what's trying to say, what you're trying to say. You got a lot to say, and it's coming in this way. It's coming up from the earth, like the warming of your soil. And that's very much what this is. This was your power, and this was the sun shining down. It was like that veil, like the crust of the earth, not being able to break through, to be able to see the reward. But that's so much of what was being talked about over here. The new home, the new attitude, the victory is this reward, this new, this new seed of life springing forward. Being able to see yourself as you've always kind of divine inside. Side and, and expected and experienced, but privately and alone and, and um, like in the quiet wee hours is what you're talking about. You're like, bring that forward, Joy. Bring that forward. And what is going on here? So we have the seven of rods, the high priest or priestess, the lovers, and the five of coins. What is going on? They're splitting. So let's see what is happening here. This is like a turbine. This is showing up like a turbine coming around like this. Oh, oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, ha. it's a starburst. It is a starburst. You had some of your joy like snuffed. I don't like that. That's what we're waking. It's kind of like if it's something that you love that somebody comes on and goes, you know, that one bad ingredient there will ruin all your life and you don't believe it and you'll receive it, but it like gets stuck in your astro field. It gets stuck. I don't say astro field. Why are you saying that? It gets stuck in your astro field. It's what you're talking about. And you're like, what you didn't even know? It'll rat your teeth out like, like whoever mama said, well, this mama said you got extra teeth, baby. 
You got more coming where that came from. Don't you worry about that. If something brings you joy and delight and it doesn't harm anyone else, please yourself. Give yourself permission to enjoy what you do. They say it everything in moderation, but know thyself. When that moment creeps up, like I'm not a big candy craver. I don't have big cravings, period. So when something crops up, it's there for a reason. It's life wanting to join with me in that delight. It's my soul wanting to return to that memory, wanting to have that experience of myself, whatever it is, because you might be sitting in the car tan open, looking for your yellow and orange starburst when pink is your favorite, right? You're going to be eating them and popping them in and chewing all up in your mouth, having a good time, sucking on the flavor, jamming out to some music, whatever it is in your backyard, the hammock, the swing. And you'll look around and you'll see a gift of spirit, right? Or somebody will come along and they'll see it and they'll just get a little giggle or a little smile and you don't know how that sunshine shot out of your heart into that person. And you'll begin to see as the world sees you as who you really are. When you allow, oh yeah. You're here, you're flying all around, floating through, moving through the experience of you. The earth longs to see you. The cosmos longs to see you and to experience you, to be able to be like the wind in your chimes. It's the two together that makes the music. It's the two together that makes the music. Okay, like you got mold in enough teeth. I will turn it up right so y'all can see. Take a look. Take a look. They're like, we got backups coming in. We got you covered. And so for a few of you, that has to do with some spending of money. And it can it can be small amounts, but to you, it's a big amount. And so you're a little bit worried and concerned. And they're telling you, this is pushing through the earth. This is the flower of you popping up, the seed of you, the prosperity, the favor that's coming upon you. We've got more of that comes from. It's like a river that flows. This part won't sit here and go, well, I'll flow when you keep coming. No, this coming is what causes it to keep flowing. You're not aware of that's why you're doing those things of blessing yourself and the, the little simplicities, the little treats, the little things that, that um, light up your soul and delight yourself. So you're back to the why, and this is up under here, the lovers and the five of coins. Okay, now love this five of coins. It is you are so delish. But you've been uh, turning over every stone trying to find this person, the love that you seek. Okay? They say, I'm hearing, you know the drill. I don't know what that means, but you know the drill. That's what they're talking about. And you've been through a lot, like wearing yourself thin. That, that wears you out. It it um, robs the image. It robs the truth. It... um. Where you haven't been doing the projecting and stuff, there's been like combing and raking. There's been working over and working over. Like, the, I don't, meat eater or not, people just listen for a second. It's a joke. But there was this boy. He was trying to learn math and learn fractions. He was seven, eight years old. And so he's at the home, at home with uh, his mom. And he says, you know, mom, I need to understand fractions. I have this task. I'm so confused. And so she's about to get dinner ready. So she sets his steak in from him. Hey, little Timmy. Hey, little Frank. So she cuts it into two pieces. She says, what do I have now? He says, two pieces. And she says, what was once one is now two. We have one half. And so then it goes along. She cuts it again. And what do we have? We have fourths. And then she cuts it again. And it keeps going, as you can tell. It keeps multiplying and shrinking all at the same time, right? And eventually it comes along that little Timmy gets tired. And she keeps cutting. And he's like, what do we have now? And she, he says, hamburger. You've been reducing love down to hamburger, baby. Steak down to hamburger. You've been taking your tofu brick and making it down to crumbles, okay? You've been wearing it down to these little, like, infinitesimal bits and bites that don't even satisfy. Like a Starburst. At least let it be the size of your Starburst. Let it be something you can chew on, okay? Let it retain some flavor. Let, let the, don't, don't, like, Grill people to pieces. Don't interview them, you know, no resume. Let their light shine forward. Just be an observer and a participator. Go along for this. Go in and enjoy it. See how it all works out serendipitously. Because that was a little bit of that old energy, that old, like, you know, the veil, right? That when the veil was there, you had to work so hard to see and to perceive because you weren't wanting to project. Therefore, you were wanting to protect yourself because you knew not projecting, you could be projected upon. So you worked so hard and like frazzled your mind. And that's like that yoke that you're carrying that brings back no benefit, no return, no refreshment, no reward. And you end up empty in love, friend. You end up empty. Just these empty 
vascularized chambers, right? And just like our blood needs oxygen, you need love, Leah. You desire it. Remember, it fuels you. Imagine the human body and what that does to you. You're like, Vroom. okay, Joy, you just crunk our car. You got it revving up. Like, what was that? Uh, rev up like a deuce, another roller in the night, something like that, blinded by the light, baby, the light is coming, that veil is off, I declare it off now, so that you can see clearly, and wipe away that extra work of the proceeding, to be able to see, and know, and let love come in, this is the hand of love being offered to you, the foot of love, the beauty of love, the life of love coming in, and that old grading, that old working, that old reducing it down, doesn't have to happen anymore, this is you in the fullness, as you see yourself in the fullness, you will realize how well you see how much life has your back, right? How much it delights in you as you delight in life. Give yourself permission to have the jubilee, to have the full celebration, to taste and see that life is good, that joy is abounding for you. The sweet life is here, baby. Okay? Let me Big Papa says. Okay, Leo, leave your comments down below. If you enjoyed this, give it a big thumbs up. Share because you care. Talk to me. Talk to me and come back by again real soon. I love you. Bye.